morning, everybody. We have a beautiful day to celebrate today. Thank you all for coming. I'm Jean Schlinkman. I'm the executive director of the Schomburg Park District. I would like to introduce and um, ask President George Longmire to say a few words. Thank you. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. It is a beautiful day. At least we're not having rain for a while. Uh, Gabe, we're very pleased on behalf of the Park Board and the Park District to have this dedication today for you. Uh, because I think over the, the long years of your legislative history as a rep and as a state senator, you're, uh, you have been a very good advocate for parks and recreation and conservation. And I know you sponsored many bills or were part of seeing bills passed down there uh, on behalf of uh, park districts and with the IAPD, the Illinois Association of Park Districts. Uh, you were very easy to work with. I think also it was uh, when you'd go down here, you were also a mentor for us because you would educate us on who to talk to and, and uh, what angles to use on certain legislatures on an important bill. Uh, plus, I think one thing that was important down there that you were, you were able to work with the other side on, the, on some bills, and that's, uh, you know, that's important to be able to work with the other side to get some of these bills through. We're particularly happy. I know one uh, grant you got us... Uh, about a $750,000 grant that started the development of the uh, soccer field at Olympic Park a few years ago, and that was, there was that's become a really great activity out there, and it, it gets a lot of use every day. Also, you were a trustee on the Park Foundation uh, for many years, and you were you helped in fundraising, and you were uh, attending a lot of the programs. We'd have a, uh, an opening or something, you'd be there, you'd attend the programs. Uh, you lived in the community for a long, long time. I believe over here about 35 years, uh, over here on, on Redwood Lane. Uh, and so it's our pleasure to uh, dedicate this park in your name today for the many services you've given us, uh, also for your services to special recreation and pushing some bills through down there. They're very helpful to us. And so with that, I would turn it back over to Gene, and we just want to say thank you very much. We appreciate it. I wouldn't sit down, but I, I got a bad knee, so I got to stand. <laughs> Thank you, George. Uh, and we're pleased to have with us the uh, Mayor Al Larson. Uh, Al, if you'd come up and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kay and I in, in Oak Hollow have kind of a special relationship. Uh, it was in Oak Hollow when I was hiking through the woods, as I used to do before the neighbors. Uh, uh, Call the cops. No, I. <laughs> uh, but when Heidi Hooter Woods went when uh, Kay was in her backyard and she called out to me and asked me to be her campaign manager. And I had no idea that what she was going to run for at the time, but I said, I certainly said yes. And then uh, I used to ride, drive my bike around and, and, and quite a bit at, at that time. And, and then uh, I used to check on Kay's, Kay's property as it was being developed. And these bulldozers were in the back compacting the earth around these oak trees. And of course, uh, I felt pretty important because I was on the environmental committee, right? So I rode my bike over to uh, uh, the, the sales office for uh, the developer who was uh, bulldozing around Kay's house. And I said, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. They said, who the heck are you? You know, <laughs> just who, you know, and he kind of threw me out of the office, me and my bicycle. So I called up Kay and I said, Kay, you know, you got to get out here. They're out here. They're, they're going to kill all those oak trees. And, and, uh, and Kay came out and put a stop to it. And, and save these beautiful, beautiful oaks. But I, I, I really think that uh, what Kay misses the most, as far as Oak Hollow is concerned, are the deer that would come and eat her hostas. Yes. <laughs> I mean, she was, she was the, the buffet for, for, for the deer that wandered through Oak Hollow. <clears throat> but I, I, I'm really kind of surprised that it took this long for the Park District to recognize all that she has done for the Park District. She's done a tremendous amount of things for the Park District, in spite of the fact that an errant golf shot almost knocked her out, out of the game. Is that, is that correct, Kay? You wanna, maybe you could tell, tell us about that golf shot when it's your turn to say a few words. But that, that brings to mind a dilemma. What kind of sign would they put up if, if they dedicated this you know, golf shot to Kay Wojcik? Anyway, uh, it's been wonderful having her as a neighbor. Miss her tremendously. And, and I don't know who, who's going to chase the deer away from the hostas if Kay's not there. So enjoy the afternoon. And don't forget to stop by our Prairie Arts Festival a little later on. <laughs> Always promoting Chandra. Somebody that uh, you may not know um, who has kind of seen the other side of Kay down in Springfield is Ted Flickinger. 
uh, Ted Flickinger is the CEO and president of the Illinois Association of Park Districts. So he's very important to park districts throughout the state and certainly has been to Schaumburg in uh, promoting legislature and um, um, uh, just parks and recreation in general, conservation areas, so that the, the people of Illinois can um, have areas like this close to their homes. Uh, so Ted, if you would come up and please say a few words. Thank you, Gene. Uh, Norman tells me that Kay was worried that it was going to rain today. This is a perfect day for you, Kay, and, be, and it's uh, very appropriate that it's perfect because you're almost perfect. And you've done such a great job for... <laughs> Norman doesn't agree with... <laughs> it, is, it is an honor to be here, and at first my wife and I had... Uh, some other plans, and then when I learned about this dedication, I said, well, honey, we have to change our plans. We have to be there. No one's done more for parks, recreation, and conservation than Kay, Kay Wojcik. But Kay, I, I put uh, the letter that I was originally going to send to you when I couldn't be here, I put it on a little plaque. So you could take, a, take it off the plaque and put it someplace else if you want, but I thought that's the best way to preserve it. Because we mentioned in there a lot of things that, that, that you've done. and. Um, you know, to, to, um, to paraphrase uh, my favorite president and, and a great conservationist himself, Teddy Roosevelt, he said what, what a person does uh, for themselves dies with them. What they do for their community lives for a long, long time. And I think the conservation area here is that type of thing that's going to be here for eternity in your name. And it's a great uh, prestige and an honor uh, to have that done. I know that, um, that Kay has done a lot in, in the fact that we've had the open space land acquisition and development program in Illinois and we wouldn't have had that without Kay's support. But also for the disabled population of this state. No one's done more than, than Kay Wojak, Senator Wojak. When she was on the floor uh, fighting for Senate Bill, what was it, 1881? And um, it looked like the bill wasn't going to make it. And she got up and just gave, I know, I know you had the transcript of it, a tremendous speech. And she says, I don't care how the rest of you are going to vote. I'm going to vote for the right thing. And I'll never forget that speech that she gave that day. There was, there was a hush among the audience afterwards. And the bill went through. Thank you very much for that. And thank you for all your support that you've done for parks, recreation, and conservation. Thank you, Ted, for making the effort to come here. I know it means a lot to Kay. 